So what do you think about Uh, sorry, what did you say? I said, what do you think about I'm desperately trying to understand you. I'm like playing it over and over again in my mind. I'm looking for context clues and I still have no idea what you just said. So I'm just gonna nod and say, yeah. But anyway, what do you think about that? Oh, sorry, I was thinking about the embarrassing thing I said a half hour ago, and it's basically all I can think about anymore. I'm pretty sure it's the only thing you'll remember about me. Oh, hey, friend of a mutual friend. Oh, 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 hey, uh, you know, we've been acquaintances, barely, for the last 10 years because of our mutual friend. The thing is, we've never had a conversation. I don't know anything about you. I'm not even really sure what your name is. And this is gonna become strikingly apparent to you now that we're unexpectedly one-on-one. -on -one. Is there anybody who can save me right now? So then I did this thing, and then I did this other thing, and then this other thing happened, and Jason was there. This conversation has been going on about 20 minutes too long. For the last half hour, all I've done is nod and say, uh-huh, I'm clearly disinterested. How can you keep going? And then the doctor said, it's probably nothing at all. It's probably just dermatitis. I was worried about nothing. Even when I excused myself to go to the restroom and spent 15 minutes in there, a clear indication that I wanted to get away from you, there you were, waiting right outside the bathroom door. Who does that? And you know, I was in Minnesota for like 10 days. It's pretty flat up there, except for this one place, there's a lot of hills. You're a psycho. You know, I'm really glad we finally had this 10 minute conversation because I've been mentally rehearsing it for about three weeks. Everything went better than expected.